construction lines are like ordinary lines and can be modified, moved and deleted. Draftit creates construction lines three times the size of the current sheet. First, horizontal construction line. Simply place the line at the required point using any of the snaps and input options. The vertical construction line is the same, just click into place. The angular construction line requires you to click two points, just as if you were drawing an ordinary line. Don't forget, after you have clicked the first point, you can hold down the shift key to lock the angle to 45 degree increments, like this. If we zoom extents here, you can see that these lines are three times the length of the sheet. If we look at the layer dialog box, you will see that a constructions layer has been automatically created. This happens as soon as a construction line is drawn. Now delete constructions does exactly what you would expect. It deletes them all. Take care with this as it deletes everything on the construction layer. So it's not a good idea to add things manually to this layer. OK, let's now have a quick look at how we might use these construction commands. Here we want to create the side view of this simple shape. We can use the horizontal construction line command to project across various edges like this. Use the vertical construction line to define the left hand face. Here we could use the same command and place another line relative to this to represent the thickness. However we won't do that, we will use the offset command instead like this. Did you notice that this new line is not blue, it's black? That's because the current layer is untitled and the colour is set to layer. Quite often users use the offset command to create offsets of construction lines. But offset is not a construction function and doesn't use the construction layer. To demonstrate this more clearly, let's use the line command to trace around the shape we want and then delete the construction lines. You see this line is just a line on the untitled layer, so we have to delete that manually.